<clears throat> this is like the most comfortable chair I've ever been in, and it's at the link. Who would have thought it? All right, day 21, 30 days in Vegas. I am delirious, so forgive my delirium. If there's anything, though, that can cure it, it is the energy at this property. The link is buzzing. The crowd here just has so much fervor. Um, I can see why I, I can see why it's a fan favorite, and it certainly is a fan favorite. Like this is the people's champ. I've walked through this property before. I've been here before. It was the link. Uh, I've never stayed here though, but I can see why people like it. I think this property is really in a league of its own, and that's not to say it's the best or most luxurious. It is not, not by a long shot, but it's unparalleled. It's in a league of its own because it's really doing its own concept. It's not trying to be anything that it isn't. The link knows exactly what it is. It is a smaller hotel. It is an older hotel. Um, no really luxury at all. No high-end restaurants. But it doubles down and triples down on that. It just says, hey, look, we're going to have kind of like a budget-friendly, fun hotel. And that's what it is. Like the promenade is filled with so many fun and cool bars, restaurants, stuff to do. Um, you know, Hashagogo, which I haven't been to yet. I know is one of the most talked about restaurants here in Las Vegas. Like it just, it's doing things different. Like I said, like I typically stay at these high-end hotels and do the, you know, really luxurious stuff, but it's nice to get to a hotel that is like on the opposite spectrum of that and gives a completely different experience than the, like almost every other hotel in Las Vegas. So I am really, really excited to be here. So day number one at Link, this is going to be my last Caesars property during this trip. You know, in my last video, I talked about why I was starting to dislike Caesars, and I still stand by that. Um, I, I think my criticisms are totally fair. I think the customer service at Caesars is lacking. I don't like the way that they are having all these tic-tac add-on fees for everything. You know, uh, from the early check-in, which seems to be standard now, unfortunately, but I believe they're the ones who started it to like charging for Wi-Fi, you get two devices for free in your room. But I have four devices personally, you know, so to connect all my devices to Wi-Fi, you know, that's the extra two devices daily you have to pay for. I just, I don't like it. Um, I don't like the way they're just charging for everything. And uh, yeah, I just am very critical of like the whole customer experience that's happening with Caesars. However, there is something that does make them the best in Las Vegas, and that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. But before I get to that, this is not the reason, but I do want to talk about this because I want your thoughts on it. I feel that Caesars slots have paid me much better than I have at MGM. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a huge slot player, okay, and I don't have the largest sample size to pull from. However, I have put $50, $60, in a slot machine at every single Vegas property that I've been at, and I got to say definitively, absolutely, and by far, I've won more at Caesars. A lot more not only in like the times I've cashed out with money in my pocket but the amount of money in my pocket as well all my big wins have come at Caesars uh, and most of my wins have come in, at Caesars overall now this could be totally random there's no science behind it you know like I said it's a small sample size it's just me but it's pretty obvious at least to me that I've won a lot more at Caesars so do you feel that Caesars slots pay more do you feel that MGM has tighter slots? I'm sure some of you slot machine gurus will jump in and you definitely have thoughts to share because I am not a slot machine guru. I'm a very, very casual player. All I can talk about is my experience. And in my experience, at least in the high limit slot room, you know, $5 a pull or more, um, I've won at Caesars tremendously more, both in volume and in magnitude. But that is not the thing that I think makes Caesars the best in Las Vegas. You know, I've gone back and forth on MGM versus Caesars. And now that I've stayed at pretty much all of their properties, I definitely have some thoughts. You know, originally I thought that Caesars was better. Then I really saw like a lot of the benefits of MGM. And I think in my last video, not the one that I talked about how I was starting to dislike Caesars, but on my last MGM versus Caesars comparison, I pretty much called them a tie. Because there's some things that Caesars does really well. And there are some things that MGM does really well. I do think that Caesars could use like an elite property outside of Caesars Palace just to kind of break up the monotony of Caesars Palace. Yes, it's one of the best in Las Vegas and probably the most iconic. It's between Caesars Palace and Bellagio. But I do feel that Caesars does need another elite property. But that's for another conversation. Where Caesars wins, however, with me, and it's so obvious, is that I think they dominate the strip. They dominate the strip, I think, in two ways. They dominate the strip in terms of location, and then they dominate the strip in terms of connectivity. 
So in terms of location, all the properties are pretty much center strip. Mandalay Bay to Resort World. That's where I see the strip pretty much starting and finishing, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, the Bellagio is dead center. From Mandalay Bay to Resort World, Bellagio is dead center strip. But what's across from the Bellagio? Planet Hollywood? Paris? And what is next to the Bellagio? Caesar's Palace. You know, and then you have Cromwell, and then you have Bally's, and then you have Flamingo and Harrah's. Like, all these properties are pretty much center strip. And the great thing is, is that all of their properties are pretty much connected, either via walkway or they're connected to each other. So you have Planet Hollywood that flows into Paris, and that flows into Bally's. And, you know, that kind of leads into Cromwell, and that kind of leads into Flamingo and Harrah's, and they're all connected. So if you really like to have that Caesars ecosystem, or if you like to jump around Caesars properties and really work the rewards program, you can pretty much stay at any one of those hotels and have all those properties at your disposal that are walkable. That's the thing, is that all the properties are connected and they're all walkable. And not only are they walkable, they're just easily walkable. They're not that short of a distance. Like I said, they're all connected. And of course, you have the walkway that goes across the strip to lead over to Caesars Palace. So the ecosystem is just so tightly knit. It's like perfectly laid out. I think that's what MGM is trying to do. You know, MGM is really, you know, trying to invest on the south side of the strip. I think that's why they got rid of the Mirage. So now most of their properties are city center and south. And it really makes it a lot easier. Like when I was at Luxor, it was really easy to get around. I mean, it was easier to walk to Mandalay Bay. It was easy to walk to Excalibur. You had MGM Grand down the road. That kind of leads into Park MGM. It's really great when the ecosystem is close together. Now, the difference between Caesars and uh, MGM is that Caesars properties are centrally located on the Strip. If you want to jump around MGM properties, you pretty much got to go all the way to the south end, and then you're kind of isolated out there. But if you want to be dead set in the middle of the action, just pick really any Caesars hotel, and then you have all the other properties at your disposal. And, of course, you have all the other Strip properties that aren't part of Caesars, right at your disposal because your center strip. So in those two ways, I think Caesars is the best in Las Vegas. I'm not calling Caesars the best. In fact, I like the way MGM is going in their direction much more than the way Caesars is going. However, when you take a look at location and ecosystem and connectivity, Caesars just has the strip on lock. Like Caesars runs the strip in those areas. All right, drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And let me know if you think that's why MGM sold Mirage so they can kind of get out of Caesars territory and reinvest in their kind of home territory further south on the Strip. And also, let me know on the slot play. Do you win more at Caesars than MGM? All right, so that is it for my video today. I should have a crazy one for you tomorrow because I'm off to that wild, spectacular I Love Sugar store where they have the martini bar upstairs, and you get, like, all those wild, sensational cocktails. So I'll definitely tell you about that tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.